So Samsung has introduced a new good lock module called Registar. And this app allows you to do a few things on your Galaxy smartphone that you could not do earlier. I'll talk about how you can install this on your Galaxy smartphone towards the end of the video, but first, let's focus on things it can do. First and finally, I can now double tap the back of my phone to take a screenshot or slide open the notification panel or activate Google Assistant or just launch open any app that I use very often like WhatsApp or something. To do this, you'll have to go into the GoodLock app and then click on the register module. There's an option called Backtap Action and here you can configure your double tap action from any of these functions. And why just stop at double tap? You can configure triple tapping with any of these actions here. So you've got taking a screenshot, access Google Assistant, start a pop-up window, notification tray, recent apps and act as a back button or even launch an app. And so for me, double tap is going to be screenshot and triple tap is going to be to show recent apps, which I think is now going to be possible with just one hand, which earlier actually used to take two. There's one more super addition. See, we knew that Samsung allowed you to configure double tap of the power key, right? And you could do any of these actions for double press, but only two functions for long press. So while double tapping was configurable, long press was always either power button or Bixby. But with the register module, you could go into side key press and hold action, turn that on, and now you could remap your long press of the power button to any of these functions. And actually all of these are really useful. So you get to decide now. And what I'm gonna do for myself is double tapping will still be to launch camera while long pressing the power button is gonna open WhatsApp, which is the most used app on my phone. Next. Do you now see in my settings home screen how I can configure what I want as the most important settings for myself at the top and everything else to follow? And that's exactly what Registar allows you to do. So if you go into menu order and group settings, you could pretty much rearrange and completely customize all of these as to your preferences and liking and whatever you need can come up at top and you can just save that. And if you go into settings, you'll see it just gets reorganized based on what you wanted. And hey, if you don't want certain settings to even show up, you could just disable their visibility and all you're left with are settings that you care about. And hey, if you've played around too much, you could just go into the overflow menu, click on reset and everything's back to normal. But wait, it actually gets so much better that you might not even need this. So let's say that there's a setting that you use very often. In my case, that would be choosing the default app. Now what I can do is long press on the search result and it's gonna give me an option to create a shortcut to that setting and place it on my home screen just like that. And now when I click on it, it takes me right inside and I don't have to search for it. I don't have to navigate or do anything. I can put all of my favorite settings in one place inside one folder and access them real quick. That completely removes the need to go into settings anymore. In register module, you're gonna to have to enable this. That's it, allow creation of shortcuts, all done. There are two more minor things. Now, in settings, if you search, you would have seen there's something called a suggestions, which are basically tags, okay? These are just popular tags that people around the world search on Samsung phones. If you go into search options, you could just hide those suggestions if you don't care. And yeah, they're completely gone. Not a very useful one, but it's there. The other thing is that inside settings, if you go, you'll see that your email address or your Samsung account ID is displayed. You could actually remove that by just Clicking on hide an email address and if you go back, it'll be completely gone. Just a bit of a privacy or a security thing. And lastly, you can choose to maintain a log of changes that you make in settings. For example, if I change the font setting or I choose iComfort Shield, all of those changes will be maintained over here. But it's not very useful though. All right, now let's talk about how you can install Registar on your Galaxy smartphone and you're gonna need good luck module first. So open up Galaxy Store on your phone and search for good luck, no spaces. You're gonna find this icon, click on it, install it. Then open this up and go to Life Up tab and look for Registar all the way at the bottom. Click on Download, Install, and that's pretty much it. Now guys, I've already talked about how good luck is not going to be available for all smartphones in all countries, but there are ways to work around it. I'm gonna leave some links in the description so that you can go through them I'll also leave a link here in the video, uh, which talks about how you can install GoodLock on pretty much any Galaxy smartphone if it's not available for you on the Galaxy Store. Anyway, that's pretty much it guys. I hope this was really helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.